Hello and welcome back for the final North American Regional Recap. My name is Pretty Hair and of course as the competition was close in Europe, it had to be close in NA as well. Nobody had clinched their spots going into land and going into this final week. So let's get into it and see how it all shook out. First on the docket would pit the Renegades against SK Gaming. SK, while first seed going in today, would need only one victory of the two available to them to clinch the first seed. And they would get it done right away, taking this set 2-0. But the scoreline doesn't quite tell the whole story. Both of these games were extremely close for threes. It came down to an all-out brawl where Wi-Fi and Buddy would hold down the objective nearly on their own to lock down first seed at land. SK would go on to face Splice. Despite being the only win this team in North America, Splice looks better than they have all split. They picked up a new roster member, Moonchopper, a newer player in the making a splash in the North American PGS, to play with them this weekend. Though they put up a good fight, Splice would still be handed an L by top-seeded SK in two games. The next matchup between G2 and Renegades would settle the spot for the second seed in North America. G2 made some adjustments this week, putting Evil Eye on Eevee most notably, and I Drop Bodies was back, and boy did he make an entrance. Bodies had some of the best games all split in his return. But none of that would stop Renegades from coming out and taking game number one. G2 were leaning on their famous Mega Potion Pit throughout this set, and every game would be super close, going the distance to decide who would get to avoid SK Gaming in the bracket the longest. G2 would have to pry this win away from the cold, dead hands of the Renegades to take Game 3 with a 4-3 scoreline. G2 would need to have more in the tank, though, because they have a double header to close out the PPL against Team Envious. And in proper PPL form, Envious would have one of their best performances against a team that has traditionally proven they're better. G2 Esports nonetheless would grab a 2-0 here, despite both of those games being very competitive. The final standings for the North American PPL are as follows. SK Gaming with 7 wins, 1 loss. G2 Esports with 6 wins and 2 losses. The Renegades with 4 wins and 4 losses. Team Envious with 3 wins, 5 losses. And Splice rounding things out at 0 wins and 8 losses. Guys, thank you so much for sticking with us through this PPL journey. Through the ups, the downs, the upsets, and the sweeps. The sheer level of competition and quality of the raw talent now circulating through the Paladins esports scene has never been higher. This upcoming qualifying land is sure to be one for the book, so make sure you're staying tuned to all of our social media channels as we will be releasing details very shortly. Thank you guys again so much for watching. My name has been Hyrus Pretty Hair, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Want some more Palins Esports? Head over to Facebook.com slash Palins Game and make sure to subscribe to our Palins Premier League and Paladins Global Series show pages. You'll get notifications sent directly to you, including new shows, VODs of the games, and other exclusive content.